So guys, it's Matt, and today I bring to you a Space Blight tutorial. Now, if you haven't seen my last Space Billy tutorial on how to do jumps with Hillbilly, you should check that one out after this video. I'll put that link in the description as well as the end of this video. Now, uh, a lot of these jumps that I'm going to show you to you today are going to be pretty much useless. Now, if you don't know what a jump is, basically it's where you use your momentum to do a little hop over an object. And it's fun, it's cool, but they don't, it doesn't really accomplish anything. Like, it doesn't give you an advantage and you're essentially throwing the game, wasting time to do it. So it's not really something that you try to style on people with, but or use for mobility, but rather than just to show off. However, some of these, I guess you can argue that you can use them for to, to style on some, some survivors. So, um, unlike Hillbilly, Hibbly has this advantage compared to Blight Jumps where he can take his time lining up and you can use your user interface as well as um, just like, you know, textures and stuff on the ground to find a line up for jumps. However, Blight doesn't have that leisure because if you don't know his speed add-ons, increase your speed after each consecutive rush. So in order to gain speed, you need to do multiple bounces or rushes, I should say. Um, and that being said, you don't have that much time to actually line up. So you have to basically estimate the spot in which you stand as well as just look and then in a certain direction and then you hope and pray that it works. So because of this, I've only included jumps that I have found to be very consistent. So I'm going to go through all of them. Uh, only doing the consistent jumps there are other jumps that are relatively interesting and a lot harder to do but they require so much precision that i'm just not going to show them here today so without further ado let's get right into it this first jump is going to be on ormond uh you need to get this hill to spawn here in this exact spot i'm pretty sure the rocks over here to the side always spawn so you're going to literally just do a max speed rush onto this slanted rock that spawns here um, this is a very consistent jump, like you don't need a special angle or whatever, you just rush on it and it launches you very high up. Trust me, I really wanted to get onto the main building balcony with this jump. I tried for like half an hour, I couldn't do it, but it is still a really high jump. So I'm going to include it in this video because it's still a fun thing to do. This next one is actually just a little tech. What you want to do is line up the rush with the left side of this wooden square. You look at the window and you rush, you can do it a lot faster. I took my time there to demonstrate, but... Um, it's very very consistent now some of you may be thinking but man Why don't you just jump down and then rush from the air shut up bitch for this next one? You're not gonna really get any speed You're just gonna aim your mouse at the third ring right there And then you're just gonna do a normal rush you should get a bounce and if there the gate usually does spawn here or sometimes to, to the exact wall that you rush at so you can actually maybe use this in a real game this one is a hook jump. You're gonna go for a triple bop. You're gonna look at the middle of the hook and then you're just gonna launch and you should get some nice height. For this next one, you wanna perform a rush cancel to get on top of this cart. If you don't know what a rush cancel is, it is basically an anti-fun mechanic behavior implemented to prevent Blight from launching on top of objects after launching himself from a high place. So once you're on this um, cart, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna stand towards the back and you're gonna to try to get or you, what you want to do is you want to get the um, center of your screen to line up with the edge of this log right here before you actually initiate the rush and then you should get a mini bounce. This next one's pretty sick. You're going to go for a max speed rush right here. You're going to go over this lamppost. What you're looking for is to land your body over here. Uh, you should bounce off of whatever that is and then you're going to tap that rock right there. You're going to slide off the rock and it should bring you right here. For this next one, you're gonna lunge on top of this uh, window by lunging over the hole. You're gonna lunge again, you're gonna top of this railing. What you're looking for is to line your body up with the railing to the, to the right. And then you're gonna line up the word rush with this uh, X. And then you're gonna rush and you should get a nice bounce. This next one is a uh, wagon jump. So you're gonna go to the, lunge back up, you're gonna go to the very end of this railing. And then you're gonna line up the picture of the mouse right above this, the peak of the wheel. And then you're just gonna go. This next one, you're gonna go four bops right in between this rock and the tree, and then you're gonna aim, and you're gonna aim for this crack when you're rushing, and you should launch up on top of the rock. I think you can go higher, but I can't find a consistent way to do that. 
for this next one, you're gonna go to the top of the pale rose. You're gonna go for max speed. You're gonna look at this railing and then you do some weird sliding shit when you rush and then you'll just launch. For this next one, you're gonna go for max speed. This log usually almost always spawns around, somewhere around the main building. It doesn't matter where, it's usually the same distance. You're gonna look for that exact twig and then you're gonna rush. I like this next one. If you get the good hill RNG, you're gonna go for one bop. You're gonna scoot next to the hook. You're gonna look for this log and then you're gonna rush. And then of course you can also get on top of the cart. This next one is on temple navigation. Uh, this bush always spawns somewhere around the temple. You, you just gotta go look for it. And then you're just gonna full send at max speed. Now these walls always spawn somewhere in front of the temple. You're just gonna rush at them at max speed with the looking at the closest point of the wall to you. So here I am doing it again somewhere else. So they always spawn. And then this next one, this is just another, another bush that also spawns always on, around the temple, but you do need one play with your food stack to actually get this jump. This next one is on the stairs of Father Kepler's Chapel. Uh, you're gonna line up the third step with the edge of this box and then you're gonna launch uh, no no bumps or anything. If you do want to go higher you're gonna bump once in the wall you're gonna go down to the sixth step you're gonna line up the mouse button with the edge of the box it does not have to be perfect which is why it's not perfect here and then you're just gonna launch. Next one in the main building is actually very consistent surprisingly you're just gonna aim to go behind the pole and you can actually maybe assassinate someone on those stairs. This next one is also consistent. You're gonna do one before max. This right here is actually slippery. So you're just gonna rush at it. And then you always bounce like this, which is honestly surprising. Maybe you can catch someone in that window. Probably will never happen, but it'd be really cool if you did. <laughs> this last one is on the Thompson house. It's gonna be on the hill. The hill always spawns, or not always, but sometimes spawns on either the left or the right side of the um, Thompson house. And if you get lucky with the hook spawn, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bounce off the hook. You're gonna stand directly next to the hook. As you see, I scoot right next to it. And then you're gonna line up the center of your screen right by this crack in the rocks. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, or subscribe to help me with the YouTube algorithm. Please don't be a bitch. Thank you, bye.